Hi, I'm trumpeter vocalist Rick Braun, and you are watching Elements of Jazz TV. Elements of Jazz, your visual jazz experience. We want to thank you all for coming out. And as Pat mentioned, I do um, I do host um, a concert here at the Ocean Institute in Dana Point, and it's a it's a charity event. And we raise money to bring inner city kids out and experience the ocean. A lot of these kids live in downtown LA, have never been to the ocean. And what we do is raise money, bring busloads of kids out, and they get to experience uh, touching actually touching these uh, sea creatures and stuff in the tanks and they go out on the boat and do some marine uh, um, you know biology some bi biology is always marine biology stuff like that it's going to be uh, February 3rd and 4th and David Benoit is going to be there at the Ocean Institute and Mindy A. Bear is also my guest so check it out. Yeah, I'm, right now, not a lot of people know that I'm a singer, but what people don't know is I've been singing my whole life. And uh, I've had some very high profile uh, gigs as a singer. I sang backgrounds for Sade, uh, Rod Stewart. And one of the first uh, tours that I got when I moved to Los Angeles was with a Greek singer named Demis Rousseau, who set world records for attendance in, uh, in Australia, beating out the Beatles for a of people. So he hired me as a singer, not a trumpet player. Jazz Attack uh, started up about five years ago, and uh, the original cast was Peter White, Richard Elliott, myself, and Jonathan Butler, and we're all great friends, and it was a great party. It was a lot of fun. It was the most popular tour of the summer, and we had a lot of sold-out shows, and Richard Elliott actually came up with the name. Um, this new record's Rick Braun Sings with Strings, and it's a beautiful record, and it features uh, a 50-piece orchestra, orchestrations that are unbelievable, uh, done by my good friend Philippe Says, and a band that's comprised of Joe LaBarber, uh, Dean Parks on guitar, Joe LaBarber's on drums, Joe's, of course, played with Tony Bennett, Chuck Mangione, Dean Parks has played with uh, everybody, recorded with everybody. David Fink was on the Michael Buble record. <laughs> Oh, 
You know, I've had so many musical influences over my life. I think originally my mother was a big influence because she was a self-taught singer, piano, guitar player, banjo player. Uh, my family always had music around the house. You know, I've been influenced on a pop writing side by people like Carole King and, you know, the great, the great Motown sound, and, you know, uh, Otis Redding, uh, Tower of Power, Earth, Wind and Fire. Um, on a trumpet playing level, I've been influenced by Chet Baker, by Miles Davis, Clifford Brown, one of my favorites, uh, Freddie Hubbard. Uh, I love music. I love listening to music. I, you know, and uh, on a vocal vocal side, I've been influenced by people like Mel Torme and Tony Bennett, uh, people like Frank Sinatra, uh, and also Chet Baker, who was a very uh, individualistic. Uh, Kind of a singer. Um, Herb Alpert called me personally to tell me how much he enjoyed the CD. And there I was on the beach in, in South Carolina with my brother and Herb Alpert. It's Herb Alpert on the phone. So we're with Herb Alpert. I'm always going to feel like that 10, 11 year old kid. And I absolutely turn into, I don't even know what to say when I'm on the phone with him. 